26.2 miles. I earned that tattoo. <laughs> it's like a ritual. I always come and do the registration the day of the expo, when they have the expo. I find out it was sold out. It looks like if it's nothing, but for somebody that runs every year and you're looking forward to that and you've been training for that, it means a lot. I'm here to support him and he's so happy that he can do it. He said this is something, it's a, a, really a goal I always wanted to do, he tells me, and he's so happy that he can do it. Well, I ran last year by myself, and this year it'll be a team effort. It'll be four legs and two wheels. We're doing it with Caleb because I think it'll be an interesting journey for him. He loves being outdoors and he loves, you know, attention and he loves any sports. You know, when he goes swimming in our pool, um, he'll kick his legs, move around, and he just really enjoys um, feeling included. And that's an important part of what Ability First do, does, it's the inclusion. I had gotten a tumor in my neck and I didn't think, um, we thought it was lymphoma. It turned out it wasn't. It was um, a tumor on my carotid artery and it was benign. So while I was home recovering, I had gotten a notice from team in training saying to sign up. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go raise money for leukemia and lymphoma because I can. I don't have leukemia or lymphoma, so I did it. I run because I can.